Okay guys, so it is currently August 17th. It is 1.50 p.m. The past few hours, I've been having what I would say are like really bad cramps. I don't really know if there are contractions. I thought for sure that I wouldn't like go to the hospital unless I like knew for sure that it was the time to go just because I don't want to go and get sent home. Yeah. I just would rather like know for sure, but then it's kind of like, how do you know? Yeah, I don't know. I downloaded an app to time whatever is happening to me. I don't know if it's contractions. Oh, literally an ad for Candy Crush. <laughs> so the rule is what they told us is that it's supposed to be, you need to come into the hospital when your contractions are five minutes apart, lasting one full minute for an hour. So I started timing probably like an hour, hour and a half ago. They weren't really ever even like five minutes apart. It's like two and a half minutes, one and a half, almost six, five, five, eight, one, eleven, two. So it's like super not consistent at all. And I don't even know if it's really contractions because it's very 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 painful but now they're li it's literally like every two minutes it's happening they're not lasting a full minute so that's why i'm kind of like i don't know if this is are they supposed to last a full minute yeah they're supposed to last a full minute and be but farther it's... than and t five minutes and longer apart or like five i don't minutes know and my brain apart. right now can't think it's definitely like painful but literally it's like one or two minutes between when i'm like having these cramps right now i know that it gets more painful like the closer together they are because that obviously means you're like closer to giving birth so it is very painful but i would think that it's like 10 times more painful for them being like this close together if this was really labor um honestly i feel like this is not i don't know like i don't really think this is like it if this is like not even real contractions i just need to know that i need them to tell me like no this is not like that's not it because yeah. it's right down here but my whole belly isn't like getting tight it's just like not what i thought i just don't know i would rather just come in and like have the information of them saying like no this is not it go home it's gonna feel like this so i think we're gonna go in walking in putting on our chapstick this may be the last moments before we have a baby. We don't know though. Gonna we'll for see. Sure, send us home. But I just—if you go too late, you can't get that epidural. So I'd rather just like check. Yeah. Hi, I'm having what are maybe contractions, but I'm not really sure. So I just wanted to come in and see. All right. So quick update: Aspen is now in her gown again. We just barely went in and changed, and as she got up and started walking in. She was like, now I feel like I haven't had the pain in a while. Yeah. Right as the nurse walked out, yeah, it was the longest she hadn't had the pain. And then she got it. And it seems like it's just getting worse because like, she was like having a hard time standing up. I had to help her stand up. So we'll see, they're sending a nurse in right now and then we'll get a further update. First baby? Oh, oh yeah. Yes. Oh. There are some life threatening complications to anything we do, including epidurals. You want me to scare you half to death and tell you what they are, or you just want me to no, get in and get you comfortable? It. Just do it. And then come back to our B then. What? Now I need you to get your legs in position so you can curl up for me, and I'll show what I mean. So you're going to bend one leg like this, other leg like this. You just to grab the thing and curl around your baby as much as you can. That's very good. Now, another oh, contraction? Yeah. Okay, you let me know when it's over, okay? Uh, First thing we're doing is we're give you a little numbing shot. Here's the bee sting. I know, it's about hurts a little bit. Ow! I know, it's the worst part. Try not to move. You're doing real well. Are you trying not to move? Okay, another contraction? Yeah. Okay, you concentrate on the contraction. I'll concentrate on this part. Okay, try not to move. You got a needle in your back here. I know it's very uncomfortable for you. Well, we're almost done here. So right after I got done giving the last update, the nurse walked in and she did a check on Aspen and was like, we're going to another room here. She said she couldn't even like... Yeah, she said she couldn't feel, feel my cervix. Yeah, she couldn't feel her cervix. So anyways... Because it was so thin. Yeah, because it was so thin. So then we're like, wait, so what does that mean? And she's like... It's like happening. You're having the baby today. Yeah. She called in another girl to check too. Yeah, so she called in the other girl and she moved us into this room and the other girl came in and she checked Aspen and as soon as she checked her, her water broke. Yeah. 
and then she said she's a six and a half. They came in and gave her her epidural and we're off to the races. We are having the baby today. I still, I'm just like, what? I know. I, I'm like so we came, confused. We, uh, I thought for sure we'd go home. I felt like stupid coming in because yeah. I didn't want to get sent home. Yeah, she's feeling a lot better. She's got an epidural in now. Oh, I look so ugly. You don't look ugly. You look cute, babe. And you also are doing so good. She was like, she's like, I don't know if these are contractions, but like they were. And the doctors came in and they were, the anesthesiologist came in and he was like, are you doing these contractions by yourself? Like without an epidural? And he was like, wow, like you're really tough, which I'm happy that you I are very tough. Yeah. But honestly, as, as much as I was literally like moaning in pain, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, really? which I'm, I didn't have natural childbirth like I didn't go all the way so obviously it gets worse yeah but to be at a six six and a half or whatever yeah I like would have expected it to be more painful yeah but I know that it gets more painful so props to all you people and I was literally I was like oh like freaking you should have maybe we should have just tried for a natural no, birth huh no, I, I don't <laughs> I'm just joking to. yeah so that's your update we'll uh, let you know in like 30 minutes when the baby's My born mom should be coming <laughs> I think she's gonna be here really quick. That's what everyone's saying. I know, so. this is like what I was kind of scared would, ha would happen, is that it's like too fast where I like just can't really process anything. I know. And then all of a sudden we just have this baby and I'm like, wait, and yeah. it's like, we've been here for like two hours. Yeah. All right, next update, Sashka's here now. And first grandbaby. First grandbaby for Sashka. Woohoo! Can I get a what, what? <sighs> Aspen felt she needed to get Shout makeup out. on this because... This is dedicated to all the haters who say don't wear makeup when you're having a baby. <laughs> it's for you. Shout In Aspen's words, <laughs> she said she looked like an ugly felt. hobo. I ran down and grabbed our uh, camera bag from the car and while I was gone, they checked Aspen again and she's at a, seven. at a 7. I feel so much better with the epidural. Did we already talk about how I threw up? No, I don't think we did. I don't remember, but everyone always says to like eat before you go because you can't eat when you're in labor. And so I wanted to stop. I didn't even want in and out but it's like really close. And so I was like, oh, I guess we can like stop there. And then it was just hurting so much that I was like, okay, let's like not stop. And I ate two nectarines. I like hurried and ate them, cut them up before we left and like shoved them down. And then I literally threw them up. We got to talk about we're lucky that we actually came because Aspen was kind of considering not coming to the hospital. Yeah. I don't remember what we filmed. Did we already say that? Yeah, I don't know if we filmed just, that either. It like, just felt but... dumb. Which, like, people come and go home all the time. It's not a big deal. And it's better to come in and, like, get checked and know that you're good. Especially if you, like, think something is wrong. But, I don't know. I just, like, didn't want to go get sent home. And I really thought that we would. But also, when we left Luma, she was barking. She was barking a lot. Yeah, she was acting like she knew something And so I felt like, even though I thought we were going to get sent home, I was like, I feel like this is it because she's barking and, like, she just knows. She's going to sleep at my mom's house tonight. We should have. What time is it right now? No, it's 4. It's 4, four o'clock. So, hopefully the baby will be here within the next few hours. And then, I'm just so can't believe that she's gonna be in that thing over there okay guys so it is now 4 47 i think we last vlogged at four the nurse just came back in and checked me and she didn't say i'm at a 10 but she said i'm ready to push so that means i'm at a 10 right Most so likely. i don't feel any different <laughs> i feel like the epidural is kind of wearing off a little bit so we just pushed the button to do more i feel like a little bit more pain she said give that like 10 or 15 minutes to kick in and then we'll do some practice pushes this is so fast like yeah. how many hours if she's here by like six that's like i don't know that's if i only push for like three an hour. hours but from like when my contraction started which was probably at like uh, 10. yeah yeah so crazy so fast I like, can't even believe it. This which is gonna is be good. an easy birth for you, babe. I don't know. I don't know if there's such thing as Either an easy birth. Or, <laughs> Definitely. Because you've been so calm and like nothing. Has you feel? I feel like it's not even anything like I expected. Yeah. That should be like screaming and freaking That's out. That's what every video and everything is like. It not not easy, easy, but it'll be an easy. Had a good pregnancy. So we'll yeah, I've had a good pregnancy, so hopefully a good birth. And the baby's already really low. Like anyone who checks me, they're like, "Holy crap, that baby is low." So hopefully it is. Every awesome. Awesome. Not too bad. <laughs> and her mom's here, Meet's She's here, She's our camera here. person. Parker's here, the baby's here. Uh, yeah. Parker's and being a great, home. yep, you yeah. turned on a show that he <laughs> thought I would like. This is the one I chose, it's BYU. Mm. Actually, we're you, we're you, we're we're you top fans. <laughs> All right, so before the baby's born, we're gonna do last minute guesses at time and weight. What do you think, Sashka? Ooh, let's see, it's five. five. Exactly I'll five. say six. 
22. I'll say 6. 5. 6'5. Six, I'm going to say 6'4. Four. 6'4. Four. Me and Jen were talking about the height. Six, That's four. too close to mine. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> it's 6'04. At 6'04. Mm -hmm. Wow. Six, I like that. Yeah. What about you, babe? 6'4. What's six, your four. last guess? I feel like we've had I so many guess different sooner guesses. to put it in the universe so that it, I don't have to push as long. I'm going to guess 6. 22. That's when she's born? Yeah. Okay. Wasn't that mom's guess? Yeah. Oh. That's my, that was my guess. Was it? That's my exact guess. I'll do 617. Do 621. I'll do 617. 617? That's and perfect. I think she'll be... Close to Parker's. I said 612, but That's I feel right. like she might be smaller. Yeah. So I'll say 6... Did that, someone say 66 six six already? Like you were. No, we said 64, 65, and yours is 66. Six, so. okay. okay. You're 66? Six, six. Six, I'll four, do 62. Six, six, six. But six like two. Yeah. My final guess, which has been my guess the entire time, is that she's gonna weigh six seven because it's that's. Six oh seven. I don't know about the no. time. Six oh seven. I do. You're literally like five minutes away. Yeah. So no, six seven. That's my five. birthday. Oh. But and that's then the time. I'm gonna guess. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna I say six fifteen. I think she's born at six fifteen. Oh, hard, hard, hard. Oh, that's it. You got it. You got it. You got the push. Go, go, go. Six, seven, eight, job, nine, ten. Let it out. Let's do one more. Go, 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 three, four, five. That's her hair right there, Parker. Oh my god. That is your baby's hair. She's nine. She have hair? Ten. Good. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're gonna make me cry, Parker. Okay. Relax. And take nice deep breaths, okay? I'm oh, sorry, baby. <laughs> did she have lots of hair? Yeah, she did. Aspen had a lot of hair. Not, it was I mean, I don't know. thick and long. It was like this tell. long. Yeah. That looks blonde. Oh, it oh, looks really? blonde? Ooh, Aspen's was dark. Oh, that's something we didn't even guess. I know. Yeah. I thought it'd be dark because mine was good. Yours was black. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a mirror so you can see? Ooh, I would get a mirror. Yeah. I would. It's fun to see. Oh, it's a huge mirror? Oh, I know. Oh, it's oh, gigantic. I, like <laughs> I know. It's okay. I wish that's what we had. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay. No, it's okay. good. You want to see. One more push. Okay, guys. She asked if I wanted a mirror. And then they brought in this. I thought it was going to be like a little hand one. But it's this big mirror. She said it's good because you can have like motivation to see that when you're it's pushing it's actually doing something. But you saw her hair. I saw the baby. It's blonde. I saw her I thought it would be dark. To be honest, I couldn't really tell. It's just kind of... <laughs> Through I the tears, he was never, crying. Yeah. Parker yeah. already cried. It's so cute. I'll cry a lot more. Just wait. Not convinced that anything's gonna come out. <laughs> but this is my last. I didn't even get to really take an official last belly pick. Oh yeah, we didn't do the belly cast. Oh man. Oh dang it. <laughs> you forgot. I didn't get to do the my water broke prank on you. Oh, you were gonna do that? <laughs> yeah. Every comment that like t every time people comment, I like hurry and delete it so that you didn't see. Really? <laughs> yeah. I'm calling the doctor in. Can my guess was off at 6.05 and I guess 6.04. Oh, what did I guess? 6.22. Go, 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 go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let it out. Good job, babe. And right back at it. Go, 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 go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. You fell in. Like you need to push? Yeah. Okay, okay. Let's do it. Big breath. And go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Good. Push, push, push. Good job, man. Three, four, five, six, That's right there. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Good job, babe. The baby has a pretty dark hair. Dark? You said blonde. I did say blonde. <laughs> Oh, well, we'll see. Really <laughs> and then I thought she said red, so I'm like, wait, what color is this? <laughs> look in the mirror. Open your eyes and look. Go. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. That's it. Oh you my gosh, it. you got it. You got it. Keep it going. Good job. Eight, Good job. Nine, She's getting so ten, close. Eight. You can do it. You're okay. Two, you got it out. You got it. Five, You're doing seven, it. Seven, eight. You're so close. Good job. Good job. Take a breath. Relax. 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 Good job, Keep going. Keep going. Oh my gosh. She's so close.
breath. So close. I know, back at it. You can do it. She's so close. Like you're doing. Oh my gosh, she's so close. Oh my gosh. Take a nice breath again. So close, Aspen, look down. When you open your eyes and look at her, you can see her. Can you see her? She's right there. Oh my gosh. 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 Look at it. Look at your baby. Look at your baby. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You did it. Good job. Yeah. It's a girl. How long? She had to have been born at 615. Huh? I was right. I said 615. So how long will it take? So cute. She's already I know. Cute. I'm sorry. You're so mean. Oh, is he so bright? Oh my goodness. Does it feel real? <laughs> oh my gosh, she is so cute. All right, guys, we had the baby. 9.30 p.m. 9.30 yeah. Which I guessed. I guessed 6.15 and it was 6.15 exactly. Is that exactly what you guys? That's exactly what I guess. Isn't that crazy? And it's, we have it on a clip in here, so it's like, it's proof. set and done. Yeah, we have proof. Hey, but yeah, guys. she is, she's we moved a. moved into a different room. We got her to latch on. She'd uh, yeah, she breastfed for a minute. I'm your dad. see our baby. <laughs> oh. Yes. Guess how much she weighs? Did I already tell you? She was six. Was she six thirteen or six twelve? Oh, yeah. She's, she's so cute. Was she eighteen and a half? Or? Eighteen and a half inches. Okay, so. Aspen is eating some watermelon that Lauren just brought us. She brought us some, yeah, some real food too. So that was really good. She brought Aspen some fettuccine. I got a pizza. Now it is 10.45, almost 11 p.m. at night. I'm pretty tired. Aspen's probably exhausted. I'm ready to start getting my bed put together. This is the couch. This is my bed for the night. I think that it folds into a little bit of a better bed, do you, doesn't it? I don't know, I'm, I'm about to find out, yeah. <laughs> All right, this is my bed for the night. It's actually pretty comfy. Got my blanket and my pillow from home over here. I better get those set up. So that's gonna be our it for our night. We'll see you in the morning. Yeah, we'll update you guys in the morning. Now I don't see myself being anywhere else than kneeling to you tonight.